I've had a copy of this playlist for weeks now, and I've just, I'm just going to break down, at least on the side. won't be doing it every night, but on the side, I'm going to count this one down. One of the radio stations I grew up with when I was a kid, 1150 WJRD right here in Tuscaloosa. 5,000 watts in the daytime and only 1,000 watts at night. Directional WJRD top 11 plus 50 survey book. This is a mother load, a mothership of lots, 45s on this, on this playlist. I can't wait to get to it. Go ahead and get to it right now. WJRD top 11 plus 50 survey of October 31st, 1966. And the song coming in at number 61, Games That Lovers Play by Wayne Newton, middle of the road artist back in the mid 60s and going into the early 70s. And uh, Wayne Newton started out performing with his brother. His brother, Jerry, they performed at local, uh, well, they performed on local shows, fairs, performed at theaters. Uh, dances. They performed on Grand Old Opry road shows, and they officially they performed a little bit on the Ozark Jubilee, which was a TV show uh, ran by ABC that featured the top country performers. 1958. Wayne Newton was a junior in high school when a Las I don't know his name is a Las Vegas booking agent, somebody important from Las Vegas. I mean, we're talking Las Vegas, baby. I mean, somebody can make things happen guy who carries magic dust in his hands. I'm going to make it big. Boom. He saw them performing. He saw Wayne Newton and his brother performing. It was on a, on a TV show. And the TV show was called Lou King's Ranger Show. And he liked what he saw. He brought him to Las Vegas. And, well, one thing led to another. And uh, eventually they got on the Jackie Gleason Show. Wayne Newton and his brother performing on the Jackie Gleason Show. And uh, Wayne Newton performed on the Jackie Gleason Show about 12 times in two years, back in the late 50s, early 60s. And that's pretty much where he got his start, more or less, on the Jackie Gleason Show. And he's come out with a number of mainstream hits, uh, most of them on the adult charts, best known for Duncan Shane, 1962. And there was uh, Daddy, Don't You Walk So Fast, I believe, 1972. That sold a million copies for Wayne Newton. Red Roses for a Blue Lady, he did a cover of that standard. He covered Summer Wind, which was later done by Frank Sinatra. 19, boy, he covered some really old records. We're talking about some old standards. If you're to the old standards, going back to the pre-rock and roll era, you're going to enjoy this. Uh, one of the songs that he covered in 1964, I'm looking over a four-leaf clover. That song originally published back in 19... 1927. That one originally went to number two for Nick Lucas at number two for Nick Lucas in 1927 and went to number three for Ben Burney in 19, at 1927. Went to number three for Ben Burney in 1927. And uh, Wayne Newton covered that song in 1964. Another standard that Wayne Newton covered. Song that was written back in night, copyrighted back in 1920. I'll be with you in Apple Blossom Time. 1920, the song was copyrighted, covered by Artie Shaw. In 1937, Harry James covered it, and the Andrews Sisters also covered it in the early 40s, World War II. Well, anyway, WJRD's Top 11 Plus 50 survey. I tell you what, they don't make playlists like this anymore. Just name me an FM Top 40 radio station that has a playlist of 60 records. Oh, gosh, that'd be like Moses parting the Red Sea, believe me. But anyway, number 61, Games That Lovers Play by Wayne Newton on WJRD Survey, October 31st, 1966.